How is it that every wild animal on the planet knows how to take care of itself? That how is it that the instincts of the parent were somehow passed on to the infant and so that when it grew up it knew exactly how to eat, what to eat, what not to eat, what stretches to do, when to stretch, how to get strong, how to stay in hunting shape, how to stay in shape to you know, be fit for survival and reproduction. Uh, it, it, there's a lot that go into that. But then of course if you take a, a, a captive bred animal like this, even a lion, and then try to set it out into the wild, it usually doesn't make it because it doesn't have the skills. That's what we've become, captive bred. We don't know even how to take care of ourselves, basic stretches, fundamental, primal, basic nutrition. It doesn't exist anymore. It's like it's a lost art. It's like now it's a secret and everybody's hopping on and this and that diet. Da, da, da. You know what there was 200,000 years ago? There was food and we knew what was good for us and what wasn't. And not, a, not much has changed. Every animal on the planet, your cat, your dog, what's it do when it gets up? The first thing it does is stretch. What's the last thing it does before it lays down? Stretch. That's what we should be doing. Got to warm the system up and got to replenish the system before shutting it down. It's a lost art, but I'm here to bring it back. The art of taking care of yourself. The art of primal living. Primal living for a civilized world.